And uh, now we have a slightly different performance for you. Um, we were looking for different ways to share Tom's words, Tom's actual words. And I realized that there was a huge untapped uh, amount of Tom's writing that could be located on Facebook. Uh, so if my friends could join me. I went through uh, the majority of Tom's uh, Facebook status updates and all of the comments that he made to all of his wonderful friends in the room and all the places he went and things he liked. Uh, and I compiled them into a phrase that Tom would laugh at. This is a tone poem. <laughs> <laughs> Joining me in this tone poem uh, will be Clarence Weather and Slam Landman and Kate Eifrig. Please enjoy the complete Facebook works of Tom Poole abridged. <laughs> Tom Poole joined Facebook. Tom Poole is drinking rum and eating chicken. <laughs> Tom Poole likes the Rolling Stones. Tom Poole thinks that when life gives you lemons, you should paint that shit gold. <laughs> but when it gives you limes, the universe is suggesting a gin time. <laughs> Tom Poole and Chris Carlson are now friends. <laughs> Hey, it's 102 degrees, but according to the strip, it feels like 101. <laughs> Tom Poole attended Medtronic Twin Cities Marathon. Tom Poole made pancakes for daughter and dog. Tom Poole was bitten by a radioactive humorist. <laughs> so, there's an interim Al-Qaeda chief. Does this mean there's going to be a search committee? <laughs> Perhaps interviews at the International Terrorist Association Convention in San Diego. Do you have to have actual experience blowing things up, or just significant postgraduate plotting? <laughs> Tom Poole found Mardi Gras at home disappointing. No one cared if I lifted my shirt. someone from Georgia explaining what kept them from attending the prom. <laughs> My ankle bracelet is for show only. The government no longer has enough money to monitor me. <laughs> Self-important has always seemed like a hyphenated redundancy to me. always seemed like a hyphenated redundancy. <laughs> My Facebook is posting everything twice. <laughs> Woke with a cold and a trail of cat puke across the kitchen rug, I'm happy that I feel no obligation to find a positive spin for these events. <laughs> Tom Poole attended tiny disasters. Tom Poole likes to hold steady. Tom Poole is now friends with Shannon Custer. Tom Poole had to come from somewhere. <laughs> it's my dog's birthday, and David Foster Wallace's last novel is released today. She always gets a bacon cheeseburger. And if he were here, I bet he'd like one too. <laughs> the iPad insists that asshat is two words. <laughs> Thank everyone for their concern and best wishes for the spring thaw in my backyard. <laughs> this afternoon, the dog poop crested a little over 12 feet. <laughs> Began to recede, we are past the worst. I beg to differ. If the ass hat were something one more, it would indeed be two words. <laughs> Hat, however, refers to the person who may as well have their head up their ass. <laughs> Tom Poole likes to celebrate the story of the dog in the manger by giving his dogs bacon cheeseburgers at Christmas time. <laughs> but he's unsure which bacon cheeseburgers are best for dogs. His daughters feel white castles might kill the dog. <laughs> Per Urban Dictionary, a person of either gender whose behaviors 
display such ignorance slash obnoxiousness that you would like to make them wear their own ass as a hat. <laughs> Gin! Benzedrine inhalers! Ether! Cheese! I just shoveled three garbage bags of doggy snow cones. I need medication! <laughs> I hope this settles it. HTTP, UrbanDictionary.com, image, large, asshat, dot jpeg. <laughs> New scientific study shows that dogs in mainly vegetarian households are at risk for bacon deficiency. <laughs> this is not a scam, according to my dogs. <laughs> There's no shit in our yard either. I harvested the puppy flowers today. Every one. Puppy flowers. Ass hat. Bacon cheeseburger. Every one. Yeah. I know my way around a bag of dog crap. <laughs> my own feeling is that we're all picking up shit every day of our lives. And that picking up shit is its own reward. But that's just me. <laughs> Tom Poole shared a link. So it's come to this. Happy birthday. Happy virtual birthday. Happy bidet. <laughs> that's so funny. I was just going to say happy and nothing else, so I came to your wall and somebody else had just done that. So, birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday, John. I hereby declare this John Middleton Day in St. Paul. If you should find the city locked, the key is under the rug on my porch. <laughs> Rock that birthday! That's so weird. You're too fucking old for birthdays. That's word for word what they said at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Thank you so much to all my delightful virtual friends. You have made my virtual birthday a virtual delight. <laughs> I wish we could all be together tonight, having a big party somewhere that someone mysterious provided wonderful food and drink for and cleaned up after. <clears throat> but you know what they say, if wishes were horses, we couldn't afford to feed them. <laughs> now friends with Chris Nelson. Tom Poole is now friends with Gabrielle Rose. Tom Poole is now friends with Jerry Dragon Bajillajack. <laughs> Tom Poole is honored that Facebook thinks Francis McDormand should be my friend. <laughs> the Twin Cities, and the theater community here especially, is full of folks who will do anything drunk in the mud for a good cause. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Poole is seeing the Odyssey tonight at Park Square. Don't tell me how it ends! <laughs> Everyone should come, or at least make excuses. <laughs> Tom Poole attended Uncle Vanya. Beautiful, beautiful work. Tom Poole attended God of Carnage. Thinking about your opening, how creepy is that? <laughs> It doesn't really matter if you don't like this one, as there's a new production of Hamlet every 12 and a half seconds, and like the mythical chimpanzees, someone has to get it right sooner or later. <laughs> Onward. Tom Poole attended house concert featuring finger-style guitar wizard Duck Baker. I'll be there with bells on. Big iron ones. <laughs> Plays, if they are worth producing at all, are the answers to the questions of a culture's soul. They may be funny answers, but they should never be trivial enough to be displaced by the dramas of current events. OMG WTF BBQ. <laughs> we just got back from the farmer's market with tomatoes that taste like tomatoes. <laughs> Tom Poole is cooking vegan gumbo and dirty rice for Mardi Gras. Call it Lower Fat Tuesday. 
<laughs> turkey day? Oh, right. This is a great day for turkey. <laughs> Here's a disturbing request for my Twin Cities friends. If you have a dead squirrel around the house, or note one in your local intersection, let me know. <laughs> there for a film prop, not my famous homemade sausage. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Pies, yum. <laughs> Tom Poole thinks the BBC reading list is stodgy, white, and tasteless. It's English food for thought. <laughs> In honor of National Coming Out Day, I'd like to invite people who hate gays to fuck themselves. <laughs> Bertrand Russell observed that Americans preferred stupid politicians because they don't quite believe an intelligent person can be honest. I would think we've gone far enough down that road by now. <laughs> Wow, I had no idea that my vitriolic hatred of homophobes would be so controversial. Last night, my barn was burned to the ground in Farmville. <laughs> Dream of a new product. It's a box of candy with the entire Bible inscribed on the pieces. It was called the Word of God in Chocolate. And some of the pieces were very dark chocolate, some sweet, and some mostly just nuts. <laughs> Tom Poole is enjoying the happiest political time of his life. It's a nice thing. The last president I wasn't embarrassed by was Jimmy Carter. Biodiversity, another liberal bugaboo. <laughs> like global warming or setting fire to hobos. <laughs> Look at the science! A single hamburger today contains meat from thousands of different cows! Our products are more diverse today than at any other time. Any other time in the 4,000 years of Earth's existence. Tom Wool says some who wander are lost. Tom Poole seems unable to change his status. <laughs> a while back, I pulled up for gas at a holiday behind a woman who washed her entire car with the window washer <laughs> and squeegee while I watched. <laughs> there isn't that much time in the universe. <laughs> yes, my life is exactly like the iTunes library. <laughs> There are a number of obvious features it either doesn't have, or that I don't know how to access. <laughs> Some days I go to run errands, and go to two or three places that aren't there anymore. It says something about the kind of places I like, I guess. Oh, yes, whatever I am is after hours and around the side, not twice and say swordfish. <laughs> I've run seven marathons. All things considered, I'd rather write a play. <laughs> but what's great about marathons, when I got to the end, nobody ever tried to tell me what I did wrong. <laughs> I grew up in that pool hall, got my only black eye when somebody pulled their cue back and poked me. I was at eye level. <laughs> My grandpa GC and I used to play hooky every afternoon from work at Poole's Grocery and shoot pool for hours. And my dad was there day and night forever. He had a bottle of vodka behind the ice machine. He'd order pop from up front and mix our own drinks in the pool hall. Birch was a great shot, but he was even greater at banging the table with his stick. Absolutely world-class banger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, today on the way to Arkansas, I passed towns called Humanville and Peculiar. <laughs> but my favorite sign of all time was right inside the KC city limits. Worlds of fun, oceans of fun, exit now. <laughs> How did I stay on the road? <laughs> You've probably seen people wearing dog hair sweaters and not even noticed. <laughs> Someone who's 
circles twice before sitting down. <laughs> for something called Miniature Chicken Wellingtons. <laughs> I mean, really, who cares if your little feet get wet? <laughs> Tom Poole's spam makes him wonder if a lot of people sign on for penis enlargement with someone who can't spell surgery. <laughs> One. As one of the thousands of people who like Weezer's lame and immature new stuff, I'd like to invite all their critics to attend tonight's Basilica Block Party and bite my dancing ass. <laughs> it's a moving target, but not a real fast one. Tom Poole is editing theremin music, comparing atomic bomb sounds, and experimenting with banana nut bread spray. <laughs> oh man! That sounds like some potential wacky hijinks. <laughs> Wish meat. I like that phrase. Or, as a client might say, aspirational protein. <laughs> I've got some great deals on shit you don't need. <laughs> Your emoticon has its mouth on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Poole loves hot weather and martinis in a backyard full of dogs. Tom Poole is going to build something this summer or get hammered trying. <laughs> Molly and I watched it last night, but then we both slipped off the bed. And I don't care what anybody says, SNL wasn't any funnier back then. It's always been about the same. <laughs> Tom Poole is going to make pizzas and watch The Sopranos with Nora. I am the world's luckiest dad. Tom and Jeanette Poole are now friends. <laughs> Tom Poole never felt better. 